Under your charge, the cadet wing put in over 38,000 hours of community service. You welcome gay and lesbian cadets into your ranks with respect. You took a lead in fighting sexual harassment and sexual assault, including the Academy's first ever Take Back the Night. Because honor is your code. And you know in your gut that no man, under any circumstance other than self-defense, ever has a right to raise a hand to a woman. That is the definition of honor. It's a matter of honor. And the country's looking to you all. It was your class that took special care to make sure the honor code was part of your moral fabric, not just a set of rules, but a way of life. And a lot has changed since I was here five years ago. Because of the valor and the incredible sacrifice of your comrade-in-arms who have gone before you, we've been able to end the war in Iraq and in Afghanistan. We're bringing America's longest war in our history to a responsible end. As the President said yesterday, by the beginning of next year, We'll have fewer than 10,000 U.S. service members in Afghanistan. They will be focused on two explicit missions, training Afghan forces and operations against the remnants of Al-Qaeda. And by the end of 2016, we will draw down to a normal embassy presence in Kabul with security assistance component just like in Iraq. Our warriors are finally coming home, and like all American warriors, coming home with nothing but respect and honor for having done their job. But the end of these two wars affords us an opportunity. It allows us to refocus our intelligence and military assets and resources to other parts of the world where they are needed, where we face new challenges. This is the world you are graduating into. This is what I want to talk about today with you for a few minutes. I believe we, and particularly you, your class, has an incredible window of opportunity to lead in shaping a new world order for the 21st century in a way consistent with American interest and the common interest. Think of the possibilities. For the first time in history, the Western Hemisphere is in a position where it has the possibility of being middle class democratic and secure from Canada to Chile.